piece skiing, people often think that you know there's meters of powder, mm -hmm. but when you get in the powder, it can be fantastic. But you can also access off piste with small bumps. Now, the thing is about powder skiing is that a lot of people wait until there's the blue sky days, mm -hmm. 30 centimeters of powder, before they want to go and do it. But a lot of the time, it's a good idea to have a little bit of an inst instruction to get your basic technique good or get your technique better when you're skiing off piste. So when that window does open up and there is the 30 centimeters of fresh powder and the blue skies, you're armed with the tools to be able to ski it comfortably. Whereas um, it, it's, let's say, it's very difficult sometimes to get people to enjoy powder when they're when their turns are really not quite how they should be or their turn shapes are a little bit too sh um, sharp or they're not actually standing properly on their skis. So if you want to start getting off piece, look at it not as like a short term objective, look at it more as a long term investment. Mm -hmm. And so get your technique right, get yourself standing on the piece properly, get yourself using the skis how they should be. And then when that blue sky day does turn up, you can actually get in the powder and you can have a really, really good time. The interesting thing there is uh, uh, it's not necessarily um, you know, the hardcore skier who's like done all the piece and now wants to go further. You're saying it's actually just to access beautiful places and go places where, you know, the same as if you went for a walk, you know, you wouldn't want to walk along a, a footpath all the time. You might no, want to go off no, the beaten track. The whole idea of skiing is to sometimes be a little bit off the beaten track. Yeah. You can go as a family. You yeah. can go with different ranges of skier and or snowboarders. We can take snowboarders and skiers together. Yeah. And it's just to, to enjoy something, to enjoy half a day or up the mountain together. And you, you don't necessarily have to be a fantastic skier to do it. Um, as long as you've got a pretty sound technique, yeah. you know, we can choose off piste runs that are suitable for most upper intermediate to advanced skiers of course there's the hardcore scuff stuff <laughs> but you don't necessarily have to be yeah. be hardcore to get off the beaten track